Hey guys, welcome to this session by K21 Academy. In this session, we will see how to visualize web traffic using Amazon Kinesis data streams. Now let us take a quick glance at the agenda. Firstly, we will be getting an overview of Amazon Kinesis data streams. And then we will be deploying an Amazon Kinesis data visualization sample application using CloudFormation stack. Post that, we will see how to visualize the data streams generated through EC2 instance. And then we will see how to monitor the data generated through AWS Kinesis dashboard. And then finally, we will see how to delete the resources. So we have taken a clip from one of our certification training program on AWS Certified DevOps Engineer Professional DOPC01. And in this clip, our expert will perform a demo where he will be visualizing web traffic using Kinesis data streams. Hey there, well, this is Atul from team K21 Academy. And in this lab, we are going to look at how to visualize the web traffic using a service called Kinesis uh, for data streaming. Now, before I tell you what we're going to do, let's first understand what is Amazon Kinesis service is and how we're going to leverage in this. So Amazon Kinesis is a data stream, a service which will help in a massively scalable a highly durable data ingestion and processing of uh, the service or processing of the data um, in a, or a streaming data basically. So you might be seeing that you generate a huge amount of data, websites generate a huge amount of data or social media generate a lot of uh, huge amount of data. What Kinesis can do is it can um, ingest, it can collect the information and make some meaningful uh, analytics of that data, which is streaming data. Um, and and then can um, give you a meaningful uh, analytics out of that data. So what you're doing, if you look into this diagram, we capture any data which is coming from multiple sources, stream uh, streaming data, uh, the Kinesis data stream will pick up that and will do some processing on, um, depending on different services, like your EC2, Lambda, uh, using um, um, Spark, and then create some useful, meaningful uh, visualization uh, output in terms of graphs, in terms of charts, in terms of uh, anything meaningful out of that for the streaming data. That's what this Kinesis is uh, doing. So in this particular lab, what we are going to do is we are going to deploy a, a Kinesis a data visualization sample application and uh, our data is coming from different sources. So the Kinesis is going to visualize and give us a meaningful data on a dashboard running on a web server inside EC2 instance. So this is what we are going to do uh, here. Uh, so let me first explain you uh, the, in, uh, the high level topics, what we are doing. Uh, the introduction, I gave you a brief overview, but it's worth reading the documentation about what is Kinesis is. We'll uh, refer uh, chapter number two is about the documentation link that we've used in order to refer to this guide. And if you have to go more into this, you can look at this documentation, which says, um, what is Kinesis? Uh, how do you get started with Amazon Kinesis data stream? We are going to use or deploy uh, this whole setup of Kinesis and uh, the data stream uh, the EC2 environment, everything using a cloud formation. And we looked at cloud formation in one of the previous lessons where cloud form formation is like automation tool that you can create con different stacks, which will include all the different services and infrastructure that you have to build on which you're going to, uh, and then you can use that. So instead of creating all these things manually, we've also already used a cloud formation stack. That's what we're going to use and I'll show you there. So this is the documentation link related to that. Then uh, we'll be talking about prerequisite, which is uh, as long as you have a uh, AWS account, rest all is covered inside this uh, lab. We'll also talk about briefly about billing, how the billing happens, and then we'll deploy this Kinesis application or data visualization app sample application using the cloud formation. And then we'll visualize this data stream on the EC2 instance that my cloud formation will deploy. We'll monitor the data. And once you have tested it, we'll be deleting or terminating these resources cloud formation. That's what we are going to do in this. So prerequisite is, as I said, as long as you have an AWS account, uh, free or paid, that's what we are going to use. Now, from a pricing point of view, Kinesis uses pay-as-you-go pricing uh, model. 
um uh, where is uh there is um there is a no upfront cost nor a minimum fee you only pay as you go as you stream the data based on the amount of data on an hourly basis uh, if you want to go more learn more about pricing you can check it out by clicking here on about the pricing so first thing what we are doing is we are deploying the kinesis application through the cloud formation stack and for that we are going to use north virginia region so i'll be picking north virginia from here and then we'll search for cloud formation we'll say create a stack and here we'll say that we'll use a template and i'm going to use the template which is already created and and stored in this s3 bucket and through here um, i'll give it and say my template is ready on s3 bucket we'll give the url and then before we actually create this stack we can see what's being inside um, this stack uh, through the designer which is a graphical user interface to see what exactly we are creating you can see a little um, designer here and then once you're happy with this you're going to click next and deploy your kinesis stream data now on that this kinesis this um, cloud formation will also be running an application on ec2 environment so for that we need to select what kind of ec2 environment shape we are going to use for that we'll use t2 micro and then my application i cry archive which is an er file that's going to run on the web server running on t2 this ec2 environment will give this url as well um, here which will automatically come as a part of stack which i've done click on next and we will check the pricing as well if you want to check the pricing will be if you run this for monthly basis on the free trial account you'll be charged eight dollars but because we are going to delete it immediately after once it's done within an hour or so will will be charged free for this uh, scroll down uh, we'll acknowledge that this cloud formation will create some im resources we'll select that and click on create a risk stack we'll give it around 15 minutes to create all the resources we'll see what all resources it will create so it will create my uh, kinesis data stream it will create ec2 environment it will deploy the application and um, it will also create elastic ip address through which we are going to access this application uh, once this is done we can go and visualize this on ec2 environment so let me show it to you on ec2 environment um, or, or not ec2 my cloud um, aws account so click on come to uh, aws account login and click on cloud formation uh, link here so click on cloud formation uh, click on create stack here and from here we'll be selecting the template is ready this template and i have the url which i've already copied from the documentation and click on tab once you click on tab you will be going on to the next part which is view in designer so you can right click on that and open it in a new tab and the what exactly i'm creating this will be visually uh, visible here as a graphical user interface so this is how it look like if you see um, there's some weight handle i'm creating some role i'm creating an ec2 instance i'm also deploying a kinesis uh, stream there will be some roles and this is my ec2 security role which is be attached to this ec2 environment and i'm doing elastic ip and there's some other um, um i'm creating a dynamo db to store the data and then this is a table it's creating a dynamo db table inside this so this is all things this my cloud formation is doing so i can close this this was just to show you click on next uh, you should always do right click here otherwise um, your changes might lost and you have to restart again creation of stack so click on next now this is where you specify the stack name so let's see what name we have given and we can use and so i'm using a stack name as kinesis data stream select here and then parameter this is basically my application archive which i picked up from github lab and then this zip file will get deployed on a web server running on top of ec2 environment and this my ec2 instance type shape is t2 micro i don't want to be getting charged and uh, the this connection it's saying that allow from the internet 0.0.0.0, .0. we are saying over the internet allow the connection on this ssh environment click next this is where if you want to add um, any tags um, any rules here and we will skip this and click on next and this is where you can see the estimated cost associated with this lab when you create a stack so you click on this it will open a new tab 
in that wait for a few minutes it will tell you how much it will cost you uh, if you're running 24 hours per day every day um, how much it will cost you it will be 8.50 but make uh, so total monthly costs uh, for this instance because it's a micro instance t2 micro it will cost me eight dollars or so but we'll be deleting this instance after uh, once we have tested it so we'll not be charged for this scroll down um, we'll see all verify all those things and here at the bottom check this box which says that AWS card formation might create some IEM resources to give some permissions. So select this and click on create stack. Now behind the scene, what it's going to see, if you want to see what all it's doing, click on the resources. And if you see here, it's creating a DynamoDB table, which will store all the data. It's creating a security group for EC2. It's creating a DynamoDB table. Another one, this is creating a Kinesis stream, root role, and then if you, refresh this to also create me ec2 instance here uh, so it's yet to come here keep refreshing and after some time give it 15 minutes or so if you go back to cloud formation here under stacks sorry on this hamburger menu under stacks uh, it's saying create in progress so it's creating it will give it 15 minutes so i'm going to pause this here and we'll wait i wanted to see the ec2 environment maybe it will create a little bit uh, later um, so it'll come here and create a EC2 environment as well. And on that EC2 instance, it'll deploy the application so that we'll be accessing that application. So once you scroll down, uh, we've created a stack and then uh, we'll go and check the EC2 environment. And then once it's created, so let uh, it, you'll not see it yet. Uh, once the, my, um, cloud stack formation is complete then we'll be able to go to the url get the public ip of this ec2 instance and then i can open a browser and access it over the http server i'll create get a graph like this which will be visualizing the data going through different websites or hits happening on google in real time google reddit yahoo bing amazon and stack overflow and it'll give me a graph of all these who's ex how many hits are happening on that point in time that's what this Kinesis is getting the live stream data and then uh, giving us result. We can also view this from Kinesis dashboard as well um, to see what all output I'm getting uh, or results it's doing stream metrics. And once it's tested, then I can terminate these resources. So I'll give 15 minutes. I'll pause this recording and come back in 15 minutes. So welcome back. And uh, this is around after 30 minutes or so. I went into and refreshed it. And if you see now cloud formation, it's showing me Kinesis completed successfully. Kinesis data stream stack that I created. Let's see inside what it has all things it created. So if we go under resources, we already saw Elastic IP, DynamoDB, but this is a new now EC2 instance. This is what's talking about. You will be seeing a EC2 instance. So we'll go to this EC2 instance, click on this link here. And you should see a EC2 instance being running. Um, so instance, this is an, an under running. Click on that. And we want to get hold of this IP address on this machine. So this is my IP address, which is public IP. I'll be selecting public IP. Select this, open a new tab, type HTTP forward slash forward slash, and then IP address, hit enter. And you will see this Amazon Kinesis data visualization applet being opened and you see now output the uh, hits happening on Google um, or um, the top three refers by count. Um, so this graph is 120 seconds calculated by Amazon Kinesis visualization sample application and uh, request sent from refer over 10 seconds. These uh, refresh uh, URLs sent from Google, Amazon, Stackflow, Bing, Yahoo uh, at any given point in time. So this time uh, this blue dot represents from Yahoo. Um, so Yahoo has highest number of hits uh, coming right now by count. So this is what um, this data on a stream, it's analyzing and giving us the data in the form of graph. So that's one visualization. We also want to go into the Kinesis dashboard. And from here, we can see under this dashboard, the data around our resources. So I'll go back to this AWS service. Kinesis, click on this, work with real-time streaming data. And from here, 
you can see the dashboard. And in this dashboard, I have one data stream, uh, which is this data stream. And it'll tell me under the monitoring tab, the metrics for this stream that's coming. So give it a few seconds. And if you see stream metrics, it will show me that it's 1.2, approximately 1.26 gigabytes of data. And a uh, some count of the record is 13,000 records or so. This is the latency happening. And you can see all this data uh, being reported here. So you can see under data streams here, this is the data stream that we created. So this completes or shows you the data stream um, or analysis of data stream or data which is coming constantly through Kinesis. Once you have tested it, once you have verified, we are good to delete this. But be before you delete it, take a screenshot of the screenshot of um, both my EC2 environment, which is from here, which is this screenshot, as well as a screenshot from my Kinesis. This particular stream um, uh, here output, take a screenshot of that and share both of these inside the WhatsApp group. Uh, so that I know that you performed it and it will inspire others as well to do this action. Now, once we have done this, um, don't forget to delete this cloud formation stack, which will in turn behind the scene will delete um, both Kinesis, um, this streaming application, as well as will also go and delete the uh, EC2 instance. So we'll go back to the cloud formation. Select this Kinesis data stream. And from here, you say delete. Click on delete stack. And when the minute you delete stack, all the resources that you've created, these will be behind the scene will be deleted. So it will delete Elastic IP. It will also delete DynamoDB, EC2 instance, security group, Kinesis stream, and all the roles that you've created, it will delete those things as well. Also give it probably around 30 minutes or so. And make sure that once after 30 minutes or so, uh, there's no EC2 environment. This should automatically be deleted. If for some reason, if you don't see being deleted, you can go come here and terminate it. So if you see instance is already down, it's shutting down right now because we told stack to be deleted and then go and behind the scene and we'll terminate this instance as well. So this completes our lab on where we showed how to use Kinesis service and then uh, to stream the live um, the data and create a data visualization tool or graph to show you the output. So we have put down everything about the certification, including the basic concepts that one should know everything like introduction to DevOps and cloud, software development lifecycle automation, configuration management and infrastructure as code, and monitoring and logging in AWS, policy and automation in AWS, incident and event response, high availability fault tolerance and disaster recovery, so in this 12 week roadmap, we take you from basics to advanced level along with the tips and resources for clearing the certification exam. We also have a separate team working for CV preparation and on job support. So if you want to become AWS certified DevOps engineer professional and want to learn right from basics to expert level, then we have a comprehensive step by step training for you that includes hands on labs, including exam preparation and most important part, one year on job support. So if you are interested in this program, then I would highly recommend you to attend the free class, which covers most of the topics. So if you are interested in this free class, you can visit k21academy.com slash AWS DevOps 02.